Okay, um, what we're going to do now is we're going to, I'm going to go ahead and give you an example of what's known as break-even analysis. And the idea behind this is as following. You have a, uh, you're going to make something, you're going to manufacture something, whether it's a book or a car or a bicycle or all that. And there's generally, we're going to be crude and break it down into two kind of costs. You've got what's known as startup cost or fixed cost. That's a cost for just starting up. And then there's going to be what we call the variable cost, which is the cost that goes into producing each item. And the cost, uh, will, we will assume that it's a fixed, uh, it's a fixed amount per item. Like if let's say you make a car, it's going to cost so much in material, so much in labor, so much in power, so much in storage, so much in transportation. So the cost per item is going to be fixed. And then we're also going to have what's known as a revenue function. And that's basically the number of items you sell times the price you sell each item for, with the assumption that you sell everything that you make. So let's go ahead and, and go to share screen and get started with this. And share that. Okay, here we go. And we'll just do this. Now, this is the idea. So for fixed cost, I mean, so for the cost function will be fixed plus variable. Okay. And the way we're going to do a head and label that, this will be C of X is equal to the fixed cost, which I'll just go ahead and call this some number. I'm just going to call it the A plus variable cost. I'm just going to call that uh, uh, M times X, where X is a number sold, which is equal to the number made. So X is how many items, and that's how much it costs. The revenue, that was just going to be the price times X, where P is the price per item. Now let's just look at a hypothetical example. Let's say we have, let's say an item whose cost function, let's say it costs $1,000 to start up and it costs maybe $10 per item to make. Now in general, the startup costs will be much, much higher, much bigger proportion than that, but we're just doing this for uh, argument's sake. Now, suppose you found out that you could sell these for $15 an item. So that's $15 per item. Now, where R of X is equal to C of X, this is called break even. And you have to get to that number to, um, you have to get to whatever the break even number sold, number made, in order to start having revenues exceed cost. So let's just go ahead and just, just take a very, very quick graph here. Very, this is a very crude sketch. Now we can tell our cost. Our cost, we're just going to have it go ahead and say, well, that's a line. It has y intercept 1000 and slope 10. So if x is 0, that's 1000. And it has slope 10, so it goes up something like this. On the other hand, revenue. It has, if you put an x equals zero, you get zero. So that's a line through the origin. And it has a steeper slope. So this will be the revenue. This will be the cost. And this point right here is called breaking. even. 
So let's figure out where that occurs. Now, here's a little food for thought. If from what you learned in algebra, had the slope of this been 10, this line would have been parallel and there'd have been no break even. So basically what that's saying, the common sense that if you're selling it for what it costs you to make it, you'll never make up this initial cost. So now let's go ahead and do the, do the math and figure out where this is. Well, what you do, if you notice this point, this point at this point, the y value for this for r and the y value for c are the same, so you equate the two. Then you do a little algebra, take 10x away from both sides. And then all you do is divide by five. So x is 200. So at that level, 200 is the number you need to sell uh, to uh, have break even. And at this point, revenue 200 is equal to cost of 200, which is equal to 3,000. And that's how you do a break even problem. Okay.